what are blunted tips and why should you blunt the tips of your dreadlocks? So blunted tips is more just a certain style you're going for. There's not really, there's not a benefit to it, and there's, and some people would say there's a harm to it. I have had blunted tips on my dreadlocks for close to about 20 months now, and I haven't had any issue, so I don't think there's a problem there. But some people say it can be damaging. I'm sure it can be, depending on how you go about it. I'll post a link in the description for my video on how to blunt the tips. But blunted tips, what they are, is that rounded look on dreadlocks. So like, you know, I'll grab any of mine here how you get it round at the end. That's what a blunted tip is. Where a natural tip would be just kind of loose hair at the end that doesn't get dreaded. And so you have the natural hair and you can choose to do it, to blunt it or leave it as is. And so if you are going to blunt it, you still have to wait till the dreads are locked up enough to blunt the tips though. And so, like I said, check out the video in my description on how to do it. But what, people, what, uh, what some people say can be damaging about blunting the tips of your dreadlocks is like I use a crochet hook to do mine, so a lot of people have an issue with that. Like I said, I've had mine for almost 20 months now, no issue, so I don't think it's a bad thing if you do it the way I did. Um, but some people also do it this way, where they just take the dread and kind of grab the end where the loose hair would be and rub it into their palm like that. I tried that for a while, and I was getting no results, so I don't know. For some people, it may have worked, but it didn't do anything for me, so I don't recommend that way. Um, if you're going to do as I do the crochet way, but like I said, blunting the tips is more just for looks. Like I like the way they look when they're rounded at the end, so that's why I do it that way. But some people who want the more natural look will choose not to. Another issue with the blunted tips is it takes much longer to dry because it, the water will just kind of hold down at the end, where if you have natural ends, the water can run out much easier so it dries much quicker. So that can present a, 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 an issue as well because you can't, you know, you need to be drying your dreads after you wash them. You can't let them just, you can't go to sleep with them wet or leave them wet for too long because you can get water mold in it. So having a natural end can really help the water to flow at the end. So where do I stand with blunted tips and preference? Obviously, I prefer the blunted tip. That's just simple because I like the way it looked. So I, that's how I did it. But I don't think that one way is right, one way is wrong. I think you can look at it, see, you know, you should look at mine, you see ones with blunted tips. You can look at someone else's, see their natural way and see, okay, I like this way or I like that way. That's what I'm going to do. So... That's what blunted tips are, is the rounded look at the end of your dreads, and those are some of the pros and cons of, of natural versus blunted tips. So take what you've heard today, do some more research, and make a decision on what you want to do with your dreads. See ya.